This is a Denar Guru update from TNT Tishwash, uh, Mr. Al-Kazimi restoring consideration to Mr. Sanan Al-Shabibi. I do not know Mr. Al-Shabibi and I've never met him, but I've heard like the rest of the citizens that he is excluded from the central bank because he refused to obey the orders of corrupt heads, implement what they ask of him, and accused him of false accusations. And this corrupt elements have vandalized him by the vile methods to top the national and clean elements, and the man is known on a global level. Uh, Mrs. Magda Al-Tamimi made a statement in an interview during Al-Sharqiyah TV channel in the past days that the currency auction takes advantage of one-fourth of the corrupt in the central bank. So what is required is to take Mrs. Al-Tamimi's claim seriously and open an expanded investigation in this regard and restore Mr. Al-Shabibi and return him to his position as governor of the central bank and benefit from his experience and sincerity. This is a brief summary from the free encyclopedia uh, Sinan Muhammad Raza Al-Shabibi was born on July 1st, 1941, Baghdad, economist and governor of the Central Bank of Iraq from 2003, September to October 2012. He is the first governor of the Central Bank after the occupation of Iraq by the coalition forces. Growing up and educating, Al-Shabibi was born in Baghdad, July 1st, 1941. His father, Muhammad, is a prominent Iraqi poet, thinker, and politician. Al-Shabibi attended the College of Economics and Political Science at the University of Baghdad and graduated in 1966 with a bachelor's degree in economics, also obtained a diploma in graduate studies in development and economics, master's degree in economics from the University of Manchester in Manchester, United Kingdom, also obtained a PhD in economics from the University of Bristol in UK. Uh, Okay, governor, he was the governor of Central Bank of Iraq. Since assuming the position of the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, he introduced modern accounting systems and payment systems for the financial institution, replaced manual printers and computers with modern computer systems and accounting tools as currency auctions and replaced the pre-2003 currency with the new currency between October 2003 and January 2004. He also involved the Central Bank of Iraq and the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank in addition to the Paris Club negotiations where 19 countries agreed to exempt Iraq from 80% of the pre-2003 debt to help Iraq recover from the U.S.-led post-war phase 2003. Despite local and regional instability, regional instability in the region, Al-Shabibi managed to maintain the Iraqi dinar exchange rate against the U.S. dollar at 1190 dinars per one U.S. dollar. While the exchange rate was 2214 dinars per one dollar in 2002 and reduced the inflation rate from 64% in 2006 to 5.2 in 2012 and doubled the gold reserves to 32 tons and remained a strong advocate for the independence of the central bank. His use of these policies and high oil revenues helped raise foreign exchange reserves to nearly $67 billion in September 2nd over December 2002, $2.7 billion 2012. We hope that the right man will be in the right place. And that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in.